Hello, and welcome to another Saturday Storytime and Craft. I'm Mr. Corey, and this week we are going to be reading Everywhere Wonder. So, this book is written by Matthew Swanson with illustrations by Robbie Bear. So, let's get into it. I have a story to share. It's a little gift from me to you. You might not know it, but you have a story too. And you'll find in the things you stop to notice. The world is full of people and places and things, all of them interesting, all of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. In Egypt, there are pyramids. In Arizona, there's can. In Arizona, there's canyons. In the jungles of Brazil, are leaves so plentiful and green, the light can barely reach the ground below. In the high hills of Japan, are gardens full of wind-worn rocks in clean white sand, but not a single flower. In Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and blue wildebeests. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there's a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. On the near side of the moon, there's a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. In Sheboygan, there's a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. And on the North Pole, there's a cold, lonesome bear wishing for some company. You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone. But your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime. Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off this page and into your head. Now he's a part of your story. There are other wonders yet to find, not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look and you'll see them. In the highest part of the trees is an unexpected gift, a blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. In the deepest part of the pool is a sunken treasure, a shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it or spend it or leave it there for someone else to find? In the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to find the one you want. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? Can you see the noodle? It's a little X right there. On the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants carrying their supper home. And under the bridge is a gently rolling river floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it holds a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. It's a very busy town. In the quiet countryside are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday, you may find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. 
and in the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the, ready, when the reading light clicks on. Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again, the things you noticed today. All of those things together are your story. Dream of them a while. When you wake up in the morning, open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It's a little gift from me to you. The end. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed our book. Um, so this week we are going to be doing a fun, different type of craft. We're gonna be doing some painting, but instead of painting on a canvas, we are going to paint on a record. Uh, so, and like in our book, um, they talked about like different things that you would see outside and around the world. Uh, we're gonna paint a couple of those things on our uh, record. All right, so let's get into it. So we are going to be painting some vinyl records. So I was inspired by our book, Everywhere Wonder, um, since like they were using their imagination to like see different sites around the world um, and under other wondrous things. I thought we could use our imagination and paint some wondrous things. So you could either like uh, paint some of like the different things that like we saw in the book, like, uh, the, the Arctic or the pyramids, or you can uh, paint something outside your window or use your imagination and uh, paint something uh, that you like. So if you uh, signed up for the kit, you'll get the, the record, some paint and a paintbrush. Um, as you can see on the one side of the record, uh, it is painted white. Uh, that's the side that you're going to paint on. Uh, the white layer uh, is kind of a primer mix uh, that will make it easier for you to paint on um, and it will help the color. Um, the colors will be more vivid on that side um, and you won't have to layer it as much as you would if you just painted on the, the bare side of the, the record. Uh, so what uh, you may be asking what is a vinyl record? Uh, basically they are um, devices uh, that people used to use to play music on. Uh, you would put them in a, a record player and they would like spin around uh, and then they would play uh, music. Uh, they're kind of like CDs, uh, but they came before CDs. Um, I don't know if you've seen CDs because uh, people don't really use CDs as much either. Uh, but that's, uh, they were some of the things that we used to use in the past. <laughs> uh, but they're, they're also coming back too. I know a lot of people uh, are really into vinyl records nowadays, but, uh, but yeah, but basically they were, uh, donated to us, um, uh, but these ones were damaged and they didn't play right, so instead of throwing them away, we decided to use them for, uh, some crafts and upcycle them. So, as you can see at this point, like, I, uh, uh, did some kind of, like, abstract stuff, um, on the record, uh, I took, made some circles, uh, with the different primary colors, uh, yellow, red, and blue, and then, uh, the circles that, like, overlapped, I put in the tertiary color that the two colors make together, so, like, the red and yellow one, I put, like, a little bit of orange, the red and blue one, I put some purple, um, and then I filled in the space in between all the circles with black. Um, I also had a second record, that one, um, had gotten, uh, damaged, so I painted that one, uh, with more of a, a landscape on it, uh, basically it's a sunset over the ocean, uh, so I took, uh, and put blue towards the top and bottom of the record, and then I blended in some yellow in the middle of the record, uh, the yellow kind of mixed with the blue and made it kind of greenish. Um, and then I put like a red line in the middle of the record. Uh, that's basically my horizon line. So that's basically where like the sky and the ocean meet. Um, and then I took some white and yellow and I made a half circle 
in the middle that is my setting sun um, and then I put some dots and squiggly lines underneath the half circle uh, that is the reflection of the sun in the ocean after that I took some blue and black and made some clouds in the top and then some white and yellow and made some waves in the water But uh, that, that's what I did with the, the two records I had. Um, you could do something like that, or like I said, you could do something based on the book. I also did this in person recently, and some of the things that uh, the kids made when they did it, they did like some flowers, uh, some rainbows, uh, someone made a mountain, that one was pretty cool. Um, then I had another one, uh, the kid drew some uh, some mice, so, yeah, so just, uh, have fun with it, and, uh, if you want to share your result, uh, I'm always excited to see what everybody does with their art, so, uh, yeah, either email it, or you can, like, post it on our Facebook, or, uh, other social media pages. Okay, cool. So I hope your record turned out good and I hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, craft and the book. Um, and I will see you guys next time, but don't forget to check out so publiclibrary.com, check our calendar for the upcoming programs and events. Uh, by now, um, we are getting close to the end of summer. If, if I'm if I'm right, uh, I'm recording these uh, early. But by the time you're watching this, it will probably be closer to the end of summer. But uh, we still have a couple uh, a couple different things happening. So definitely check the calendar, see what's going on um, there for the in person as well as virtual stuff. Um, and then uh, I will see you guys next time. So have a happy Saturday. Mm -hmm.